Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over um, a brief review on differentiation and integration basics. Alrighty, the instructions for problems number one and two, we're to find dy dx. Okay, the derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, let's take a look at number one. Let's say we have the quartic trinomial y equals negative 2x to the fourth plus 4x to the third minus 3x. And we want to find dy dx, okay? So we're differentiating y with respect to x. So we're looking for d dx of this entire quartic trinomial expression right here. All right, so you need to remember your um, power rule for differentiation. So if you're differentiating x to the n, power rule is you have, you power down the power and mark it down by one, okay? And if you're differentiating a linear function with a slope of a, that term that has the slope of a, if you differentiate that, it's just gonna be a because um, if you apply the power rule to x, you have x to the zeroth power, which cancels out, and then you're just left with a, okay? And then also remember that the derivative of a constant is zero because it doesn't change. All right, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna use term-by-term -term differentiation, the sum and difference rules um, here. So we're gonna differentiate each term individually, negative two x to the fourth prime plus four x to the third prime minus three x prime. Remember prime and d the x, they both mean derivatives. They're just two notations um, of writing derivatives, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and differentiate. All right, so if we apply the power rule to the first term, we have dy dx. Um, we're gonna power down the power, but there was already a two there, so it's negative two times the power, power down, which is four and then mark down the power by one, plus four times, you power down this three, x to the market down by one, and then minus uh, three x, the derivative of three x is just three, because if you apply the power rule on x, you have x to the zero, which cancels out, okay? All right, uh, now let's simplify our answer. dy dx is equal to negative eight x to the third, plus 12x squared minus three. And that is the answer to question number one. All right, let's take a look at number two, something similar. Let's say we have a situation where we have um, radical components in our polynomial function. So y equals um, five times the cube root of x squared plus four times the fifth root of x squared plus the fourth root of x, okay? So I wanna find the derivative of this. So to help us find the derivative, uh, we will. it will be beneficial for us to rewrite the terms as powers, okay? So we want to um, rewrite as powers. Why are we rewriting as powers? Well, we're rewriting as, as powers, each of these radicals, because it's easier to apply the power rule in differentiating powers. Okay, so we're gonna rewrite as powers. So dy dx is going to be the derivative with respect to x of five x to the the power is the numerator and the index is the denominator, okay? Plus four x to the power numerator index denominator plus um, x to the, there's the there's an invisible power here, which is one. So uh, it's gonna be the numerator and the denominator is the index, which is four, index of the radical. But now we're gonna carry out term by term differentiation, the y dx or y prime Means, they mean the same thing as going to be uh, 5x raised to the 2 -third prime plus 
plus 4x raised to the 2 fifth prime plus x to the 1 fourth prime. Alrighty, so we're now going to apply the power rule. Let's go ahead and do it. We have dy dx of y prime equals 5 times 2 third. So you power down the power. Um, let's write that again. And then times the power, you mark down the power, x raised to the power minus 1. Okay, so 1 will write 1 as 3 over 3. All right, plus 4 times, you power down the power, 2 over 5, x to the, mark down the power by 1, which is 5 over 5. And then plus 1 fourth, x to the 1 fourth. You mark down the power by 1, which is 4 over 4, an equivalent fraction with the same denominator as this denominator here. Okay, let's go ahead and simplify that. We're going to have dy dx equals 10 over 3 um, x to the negative 1 third plus um, 8 over 5 x to the negative 3 fifth plus 1 over 4 x to the negative three-fourths okay and then if we apply the reciprocal property of e of exponents dy dx is 10 over 3x to the one-third plus 8 over 5x to the three-fifths plus 1 over 4x to the three-fourths now this is how you write it using rational exponent form okay or you can write it using um, radicals all right so if you want to use radical notation your derivative is going to be 10 over 3 times the cube root of x to the first power which is just x so the denominator is the index and the numerator is a power plus 8 over 5 times the fifth root of x to the third plus 1 over 4 times the fourth root of x to the third. Okay, so that's that for the answer to number 2 in um, radical form. All right, so this is radical right here, and this is rational exponent. So whichever form you want, um, they're both the same. Alrighty, let's go ahead and take a look at question three. So let's say we, we, we want to find the y dx again, okay? So y is equal to negative two-third times the third root of x squared minus three-fifth huh, times x to the negative two minus two-third x to the negative three, okay? So uh, the task here is to find dy dx like we did with problems one and two, okay? All right, so um, if you notice here, we have a rational, a radical, so we want to rewrite that using our, as a power, as a rational exponent, okay? So rewrite as powers where applicable. So we have y equals negative two-third and this is x raised to the two over three and then minus three over five x to the negative two and then minus two over three x to the negative three okay so that's um, the polynomial written um, as powers now we can easily apply the power rule so um, dy dx is basically the derivative of each term. So we can write this as negative 2 third x to the 2 third prime minus 3 over 5 x to the negative 2 prime minus 2 over 3 x to the negative 3 prime. All right, so what's different in this one is that in some of the terms when we're differentiating, we have a negative power, all right? That doesn't apply to the first one. So for the first one, we have negative 2 third times. You power down the power, okay? 
and then you mark it down by 1. So x to the 2 third minus 1, which is 3 over 3. Alrighty, and then um, minus 3 over 5. Now, when you're powering down this power here for this middle term, you notice that it's negative 2. So when you're powering that down, you have to bring down the entire negative 2. Okay, so be careful with that. And then x to the negative power, and mark down the power by 1. Same applies to this term here. Power down negative 3 with this sign. And we have x to the power marked down by 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and simplify. dy dx is equal to negative 4 over 9 x to the negative one third and then minus times minus is positive three uh, six over five x to the negative three and then minus times minus is a plus and then these two threes divide out so you have two x to the negative fourth power and then you can re rewrite this dy dx as negative 4 over 9 x to the 1 third using the reciprocal property of exponents plus 6 over 5 x to the third plus 2 over x to the fourth okay and there goes the answer to question number three all right, in the next examples, we're going to be taking a look at how to find higher order derivatives. Okay, so for question four, if um, f of x is x to the fifth power minus 3x to the fourth minus 3x squared, then f double prime of x is what? What is f double prime of x? All right, let's go ahead and do this one. So the original function is x to the fifth minus 3x to the fourth um, minus 3x squared. So f double prime just basically means you differentiate twice. Okay, so let's find the first derivative. So for the first derivative, we're just going to differentiate each term one by one using the sum and difference rule for derivatives all right let's go ahead and do it so the first derivative f prime of x is going to be 5x to the fourth minus if you power down to 4 is 12x to the third power and then power down to 2 6x okay so that that's the first uh, derivative now we're going to find the derivative of the first derivative to um, give us the second derivative. So f double prime of x is going to be the derivative of each term again, applying the power rule for differentiation. Okay. All right, let's do it. So f double prime of x is going to be power down 20 x to the third power minus power down three times. 12 is 36 marked down by 1 and then minus if you apply the power rule here that will be 6x to the 0th power or just 6 okay so there goes the second derivative of f of x all right let's go ahead and try another um, example on higher order derivatives problem number three so for problem three what if uh, y we're equal to 2x to the fifth plus x to the fourth plus 2x to the third and we are to find uh, d third y dx square um, of this quintic trinomial so how do we do it well the the power that's placed next to the d basically tells you how many times you're differentiating. So since we have three, that tells us that we're going to be differentiating three times. Alrighty, so y is equal to 2x to the fifth plus x to the fourth plus 2x 
to the third. The first derivative, dy dx, we're going to skip some steps here, okay? So power down, you have 10x to the fourth, plus power down, mark down by 1, 4x to the third, plus 6x squared. Okay, so that's the um, first derivative. Now we're going to differentiate again on the second derivative of y double prime, d squared y, dx squared. Differentiate here, we have 40x to the third, plus 12x squared, plus 12x. Alrighty. One more. Differentiate one more time. So the third derivative of y with respect to x is going to be power down 120x marked down by 1 square plus power down 24x marked down by 1. And then this is a linear term with a slope of 12. So the derivative is a slope, which is just 12. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the third derivative of our function y. All right, so what if you have a situation where your um, derivative, the order of your derivative is greater than um, three? Number six, consider the situation if h of t is equal to, um, if h of t equals negative two t to the fifth power plus two, sorry, let's fix that plus um, 5t to the third plus 5t squared. Then what is h form parenthesis of t? All right, so you might take a look at this and say, oh, are we raising h to the fourth power, basically multiplying this polynomial by itself four times? That's that's not what that is, okay? If you want to raise h to the fourth power, you write it as h of t to the fourth, okay? But this um, power here is in parentheses and is right next to the h before the t. So this basically represents a higher order derivative, okay? This is a derivative of the fourth order. So basically we're looking for the derivative four times. All right, we're going to differentiate four times. So let's do it. So we have h of t, let's write down the original function, negative 2t to the fifth, plus 5t to the third, plus 5t squared. Um, the first derivative, h prime of t, differentiate each term, you have negative 10t to the fourth, plus 15t squared, plus 5t. The second derivative, h double prime of t, is negative 40t to the third plus 20, no, not 20, 30. Um, 15 times 2 is 30, uh, plus 30t plus 5. And then the third derivative, h triple prime of t, is negative 120t square um plus 30 and then lastly the fourth derivative of respect to t is negative 2 4 t t and then the derivative of a constant as you know is zero so there goes the answer to question number six all right let's switch gears now and we're going to take a look at how to differentiate functions using the product rule okay so if y is equal to 3x to the fifth sine x then dy dx is what all right let's do this so using the uh product rule if you have y is equal to 3x to the fifth sine x you know that we're using the product rule here because you have the product of two functions. You have this quartic monomial, let's call that u, and then we have another function here that's been multiplied by it. This trigonometric function v, so u times v. 
So how do you differentiate the product of two functions? Well, you use the product rule. u times v prime is equal to v u prime plus u v prime. Okay, so that's what we're going to be applying in finding the derivative of this function. All right, so I'm going to put it underneath here so it fits. So it's going to become, so we're looking for dy dx, okay? So um, dy dx or y prime is going to be v times the derivative of u, 3x to the fifth prime, plus u, which is 3x to the fifth, times the derivative of v sine x prime. Okay, all right, so now let's go ahead and differentiate the derivative of 3x to the fifth power down is 15x to the fourth power plus 3x to the fifth. If you differentiate sine, the derivative of sine is cosine x. All righty, so let's rewrite it in the standard format. Our polynomials come first before trig functions, so we have 15x to the fourth sine x plus 3x to the fifth cosine x as the first derivative of our function y equals 3x to the fifth sine x. All right, so that's basically how to apply the uh, product rule. Okay, now let's take a look at a quotient rule example. All right, so quotient is just a fancy word for um, the uh, for division, okay? So number eight, if y is equal to three x to the third cubic um, monomial here divided by a quartic binomial for x to the fourth plus four, then dy dx is what? What is dy dx? Let's do it. So in this particular case, you can see that we have a quotient, basically two functions that are divided by each other. You do not want to be in a haste to apply the quotient rule. Always ask yourself, is there a way I can rewrite it to avoid using the quotient rule? And that's not the case here. Um, it's basically simplified. The numerator, we're going to call that u, and call the denominator v. All right, so how do you differentiate the quotient of two functions? The quotient rule is as follows. It's v u prime minus u v prime over v square. It's very similar to the product rule. You just switch the sign to a minus and divide by v square, and you're good to go. Okay? All right, so y prime, which is the same thing as dy dx, is v, the quantity 4x to the fourth plus 4, u prime, 3x to the third, numerator prime, minus the numerator, 3x to the third, um, times the denominator prime. And we divide that by the denominator square. Okay? All right, so denominator square is 4x to the fourth plus 4 raised to the second power. All right, let's go ahead and simplify this. So we have dy dx equals 4x to the fourth plus 4. And then if you differentiate 3x to the third, that's going to be 9x squared minus 3x to the third. Differentiate this term by term. If you differentiate 4x to the fourth, that's 16x to the third power. Okay. And then the derivative of 4, that's a constant. So the derivative of the constant is just 0. Okay, all right, for the denominator, we can just uh, fold this out or just use the formula a squared plus 2ab plus b squared um, to expand the denominator. So we have a squared, which is 16x to the eighth plus 2ab, so plus 4 times 4 is 16, double that. Um, that is 32, 32x to the fourth 
plus uh, b square, uh, which is just 16. Okay, all right, let's simplify. We're gonna have, let's go downwards. Downwards dy dx is, so we distribute 9x squared. 9 times uh, 4 is 36. 36x to the, add the power, 6 plus 36x x squared minus, multiply these two, 3 times 6 is 48. 48x to the, add the power, 6, divided by the denominator, uh, which is uh, 16 x to the eighth power plus 32 x to the fourth plus 16. That is the greatest common factor that we can extract here. So we can pull out four from the numerator and the denominator. So we have four times, oh wait, we can we can even simplify the numerator. Let's do that first. Uh, the numerator can be simplified 36 minus 48. That's, um, let's see. negative 12, so it's negative 12x to the 6th plus 36x squared divided by the denominator, which is 16x to the 8th plus 32x to the 4th plus 16. Okay, so we can factor out 4 from the numerator. If we factor out 4, we're left with, um, well, just four, not negative four. All right, we have to factor out four. We have negative three x to the sixth plus factor out four from 36. We have nine, nine x squared divided by, and then factor out four from the denominator, four x to the eighth plus factor out four from 32, that's eight, x to the fourth, factor out four from 16, and that's four. Okay, so you divide out the fours, and then your final answer is negative three x to the sixth plus nine x squared, divided by the denominator, which is four uh, x to the eighth plus eight x to the fourth, plus four, and that's the answer to question number, uh, what number is this? Question number eight. All right, let's take a look at an integration example. So for integration um, number nine, let's say you wanna find the integral of this quartic trinomial, five x to the fourth, plus nine x squared plus two x. So you need to remember your uh, formula, your power rule for integrating um, polynomial terms. So if you want to integrate um, x to the n, it's going to be x to the power plus one over power plus one. Mm -hmm. Since it's indefinite, you're going to have to add c, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and apply that right now. So we have we're gonna integrate term by term, okay? So we have the integral of five x to the fourth. Integrate that term plus the integral of the quadratic term. And then you integrate two x, the linear term. All right, so let's go ahead and integrate them term by term. So here we have five x to the four plus one over four plus one plus 9x to the power plus 1 over the power plus 1, plus 2x to the power plus 1 over power plus 1, plus c. Okay? All right, let's simplify. We have 5x to the fifth over 5, plus 9x to the third over 3, plus 2x squared, over two, and we don't want to forget our constant c. So we're now going to simplify further. Our final answer is x to the fifth power plus three x to the third plus x squared plus c. And that's the answer to question number nine. 
All right, let's take a look at another example um, on in indefinite integrals, number 10. Let's say we're integrating um, a polynomial expression that involves radicals. So four times the cube root of x over three plus five times the fourth root of x over two minus 12 x to the negative fifth power. All right, so uh, in order to apply the power rule here, we'll have to rewrite each term um, as a power where applicable, okay? So rewrite as powers where applicable, okay? So this, in this particular scenario, rewrite a price to the first and second terms. So for number 10, we're integrating 4 third x to d. So the power, which is 1 of the first term, is the numerator divided by the index, which is 3. 4x to the 1 third plus, um, so let's just rewrite and integrate. Okay, so rewrite, we're going to integrate that, plus... And then the next one is 5 over 2, x to the 1 fourth. We have a 1 here. dx minus the integral of 12x to the negative 5 dx. All right, now one good practice to um, do when you're integrating is whenever you have a coefficient that's factorable, you, you can always factor out your coefficients from your integral. The same applies to the derivative, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and integrate here. So we have 4 thirds times x to the 1 third plus 1, which is 3 over 3, divided by um, the power plus 1, plus 5 halves x to the power plus 1 divided by the power plus 1 minus 12x to the power plus 1 divided by the power plus 1 plus c. Okay, let's go ahead and simplify that completely. We're going to have, um, let's see, 4 third um, times, now we have x to the power plus 1, which is 4 third. Now since we're dividing, well let me, let's just do it together first and then show you how it works. So we have 4 third x to the 4 third over 4 thirds plus 5 halves x to the 5 fourths over 5 fourths. Okay. And then um, over here, we have a, a minus and a, well, a minus and a minus. Let's not address that yet. Let's just leave it alone for now. 12x, we'll fix that later, um, to the negative 6. Negative 5 plus 1 is 4, actually. Uh, to the negative 4 over uh, negative 4. All righty. And then don't forget your C. Now let's simplify. Now, since you're dividing by a fraction, this is a compound fraction, you drop change flip or keep change flip, however you call it. So you have 4 thirds times 3 over 4, x to the 4 thirds, plus um, 5 halves times, you flip 5 fourths to the 4 over 5, x to the 5 fourths, minus uh, oh, this one you can just derive, divide, okay? So minus times minus is a plus, and 4 goes into 12, 3 times x to the negative 4 plus c. All right, let's simplify it completely. So here you see that the coefficients cancel out, so just x to the 4 thirds. Plus here, the 5s divide out, 2 goes into 4 twice. So uh, if you do that, you have 2x to the 5 fourths and then here you can just apply the reciprocal property of exponents and write this as uh, x to the fourth plus c and that is the answer to question number 10 okay
Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of um, the mechanics of integration and differentiation, do give us a like or a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments about anything that's covered in this tutorial, just place it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to respond. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other tutorials such as this. We upload videos to our page on a weekly basis, so do subscribe for notification of future uploads. Thanks again for watching and do visit our website at madgotserve.com. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.